Doug and PA back with another video. So guys, I got another one from bold.com. One of was shaping it to be one of my favorite sites to cover on this channel called women are getting married less and less. And the reason why it might shock you. <laughs> now I haven't read this article before, so this is going to be most of the time I read the articles beforehand, but I want to do an actual reaction to this one. because This is going to be great. So, yeah, we're going to find out why less and less women are getting married. Now, they're going to put it all on the men. So be ready, guys. We already know what these sites are about. Before I get into this article, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Show you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get right into this. So this is by Amanda Chattel, November 21st of this year, of 2023. Let's go. There was once a very good reason for women to lock it down with a man. Men offered something that we, as women, needed. Men were hunters, providers, and protectors, while women took on the role of child rearing and maintaining at home. These were our biological roles, the natural order of how things were supposed to be. And because of that, for a very long time, no one batted an eye. So, from recorded history all the way up to about 1970, that's how it was. Then everything changed with what, guys? Third wave feminism. However, as we've clawed ourselves out of that mold and fought against our inherent biology, our need to be married isn't what it used to be. As Hannah Rosen wrote in The End of Men, <laughs> that might have to be a book I have to check out, or at least a, a synopsis of it. Doesn't that sound great? Um... What if that era has now come to an end? Yes, imagine that. The entire human history of women depending on men being wiped out. Can you even fathom it? Can men stomach such a reality? Well, they should, as we all should, because we're living in it right now as more and more women realize that marriage isn't a necessity after all. But in addition to that realization and awakening that many women are having, there are plenty of other reasons that are contributing to why women are getting less and less married. Here are 10 of them. So. The, the biggest problem with this paragraph right here is can men stomach such such a reality? So, yes, we can stomach, but women don't get to determine how we stomach it. And that is the, the biggest problem. Women have completely taken over the narrative of everything when it comes to relationship, to, to interactions, relationship any kind of dynamic of, of intersexual dynamics, guys. That is the problem. So yes, we can stomach it. Men are the reason why society has gotten this far in the first place. Men have stomached war, death, famine, conflict, disease, inventing all the creature comforts, doing all the horrible jobs in society so, so everything can run. So yes, we can stomach this reality, but women don't like how men are uh, are going about it. That is the problem. Reason number one, guys, there just aren't as many worthwhile guys anymore. Well, at least they, they got straight to the to the point on the first one. <laughs> as as Kate Bullock writes in her piece, this one, the caliber of men has declined greatly between increased joblessness and lack of prospects out there for men there are far more deadbeats than guys worth giving a shot in other words marriageable men are few and far between see guys do i even have to go into this one men will always make more than women always it's just it, especially when it comes to ab, uh, to to average income or, or or the average people in society and below but women see the average guy is not good enough. How many channels have you guys watched in this space where the average woman doesn't want an average guy? Women all shoot for the stars. And only a few women are going to get those stars. There are plenty of worthwhile guys out there. But women aren't, aren't willing to accept the average life and an average lifestyle. So, so you know what? Here's the thing. If these women want to navigate like like um, the, there aren't enough guys out there, let them, guys. Let these women be strong and independent. Let them get the, their back blown out by Chad, Tyrone, Jerome. Let them. Don't be the one. If, if a woman is navigating like a single person, don't try to stop them, guys. 
Women are the complete package on their own, a.k.a. I can do bad all by myself. Research from 2010 found that for the first time in U.S. history, more women than men are in the workforce. Yeah, but what, what kind of jobs are they doing? America is like a 70 percent service economy now. I think it's higher than that. I think it's like 72 percent. So when they say we don't manage, we don't create anything, for the most part, it's true. Women are active. Uh, 45 percent of men do infrastructure jobs. And not a lot of women. <clears throat> so in the workforce, doing what? Only 9.5% of STEM students, science, technology, engineering, and math, are women. So these are women in HR, marketing, advertising, customer service. Come on, man. Holding the majority of the jobs in the country, while there's still that d disgusting, of course, we are going to see this, guys, gender wage gap. You knew that was coming. We will get that taken care of sooner rather than later. I doubt that. Not only are there more women than men working, but women are surpassing men in education, too. Yeah, but getting degrees in what, guys? What are the six I always say on my channel? Uh, psychology, sociology, criminal justice, some kind of um, studies degree, liberal, uh, okay. Psychology, sociology, social work. Um, criminal justice, some kind of studies degree. So African-American studies, Asian studies, gender studies. And number six, communications. <laughs> uh, uh, for, for every two men who walk across, no, from every two men who walk away from school with a bachelor's degree, three women will do the same. We're basically everything but the kitchen sink. And on an extra good day, maybe the, the kitchen sink too. Once again, guys, there are women navigating the world like this. And you can tell, because guys, if you're ever on, tell me in the comments if you've ever been sitting across the table for, uh, from a date and she has, you're taking her on a date. You plan the date. You're paying for, uh, for the meal. And she says, I don't need a man. I want one. Or you know what? I'm really, really busy. I have, you know, I travel and, you know, my sorority and all this stuff, but I'll make time for the right one. That means she thinks she's the, the complete package. Get up and walk away, guys. Because this is a complete falsehood, the, the, the complete package. And have you ever seen, guys, we don't navigate with that thought process. I'm the complete package. I don't need a woman. I mean, maybe we do now. It, in response to this third wave feminism stuff with MGTOW and stuff, but the, the that's still a small percentage of men. I would say the majority of women operate with this complete package mindset, whereas only a, a minority of men are MGTOW. You know, men go their own way. Three, want a partner, a track love. Oh, oh, this is an advertisement. I'm sorry. Four, marriage is outdated and women know that. And this is crazy because... If a man says marriage is outdated, it's who hurt you? You know, you know, you, 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 what are you, how are you going to, how are you going to live a complete life without a woman? Blah, 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 blah. All the shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. But this woman could, could just say it. Marriage is outdated, outdated, and women know that. If so, why is there so much pushback from women about men not getting married, not taking the leap, not trusting women? For thousands of years, marriage existed solely for economic and political reasons. It was an institution that was often set up by families. It wasn't about love. It was about marrying the woman who came from the richest family or the man who had the fattest turkeys in town. It was for the sake of argument and necessity. However, that's no longer the case so much that 44% of millennials and 43% of Gen Xers believe marriage is becoming obsolete, according to Pew Research Center. And the sad part about it is, these these millennials and Gen Xers, even if they think marriage is obsolete, these women, they still want the wedding, though. That's the problem. One of the biggest themes in the space is women want the wedding without being a wife. And I say, guys, the modern woman playbook is on my channel. I say when men win, everyone wins. 
when women win, they, they win for, for themselves. And w modern women, they want to get married not to be a wife. They want you, a successful, competitive man, to put your desires aside, your goals and ambitions, and help her win and her selfish desires. So uh, that's what this is about. E even if 44% of millennials and 43% of Gen Xers believe in that marriage is becoming obsolete, they still want the wedding. They still want the, the benefits of being with a man to achieve their own selfish desires. And given that their data was collected more than a decade ago, you can bet your bottom dollar that that number is much higher today. For example, a 2023 study from the Thriving Center of Psychology found that 85% of people think marriage is is, is unnecessary for a happy relationship. Once again, if a guy says this, he gets shamed for it, but women can, women can just openly say it. Five, many men continue to be threatened by strong and successful women. <laughs> ah, it's scripted, guys. It's scripted at this point. Before we get into this one, let me just lay this down right now. On my channel, I have a rule. If you can't kick my ass or or if it's not an animal that can eat me alive, I'm not threatened by any kind of woman. It's not. There are women who who get to a certain place in life and feel like they can talk to you any kind of way. They talk to you like a man. They'll talk to you they can bring, like they can beat you up. They have this attitude. They have no respect for the carnage that men can physically uh, uh, perpetuate. And if you act on that, guys, don't ever put your hands on women. But if you do, you're you're done for. It's like that thing where um, I, I think Better Bachelors said it. Shout out to to Joker. But he said he, he he had a he had an older sister in, in the back seat of the car. He would like poke her on the shoulder. Poker, poker on the shoulder, and when she reacted, he would tell his mom, and his mom would yell at her for, for, for yelling at his brother. That's exactly what goes on with these strong, independent women. That is the problem. Certain strong, independent women come with a certain type of, with certain issues. And guys, we're not standing for it anymore. We're just not. So she says, masculinity is fragile. Most men don't like it when they feel their masculinity is threatened in any way. Because of this, as we've evolved and shot up into the dark night like the, the fireworks where we are, we've alienated men, not because of anything we've done in particular, oh really, but because they can't handle being with a woman who makes them feel inferior. It's hard to get married when so many men cower at, at even the idea of a self-sufficient woman, let alone the, the reality of one. But let me tell you another thing about this, guys. Don't ever be with a woman that expects to be independent in a relationship or marriage, guys. Don't do it. You you hear women say oh, all the time, I want to be with a guy, but I don't want to lose myself. That's the point of being in a relationship and being married. They want you to lose yourself. They want you, they want you, they want you to put you, your, dating, your dating and mating strategy behind. You're supposed to fully commit, guys, but these women want to be able to to, to maintain their uh, their independence. And I've seen guys in marriages where they have to have the quote unquote emotional intelligence enough where the, the, they're paying for most of the bills, but then but then entertain this fantasy to to, to his wife or, or significant other th that she's independent from him. It's crazy. Don't fall for it, guys. Don't fall for it. The hook. Okay, uh, number six. The hookup culture is alive and well. While the 1990s saw what was referred to as hookup culture, we're now living in the dating apocalypse. According to writer Nancy Jo Sales, dating apps like Tinder have created a culture where hooking up and casual relationships have replaced serious commitment. And because of this tends to work for a lot of people, marriage is taking a back seat. Yep, 80% uh, of women want 20% of men. And those 20% of men are clean in house. Clean in house. And... I'm going to add another little caveat to this. Guys, I just moved from the, the D.C. area. There's a lot of strong, ind independent, professional women out there. And these women are so busy that they don't have sex for years, guys. But women have this innate need for the touch of a man. And they have to give in sooner or later. So a lot of these women, it'll be another lonely Friday, Saturday night that home watching uh, 
Scandal for the fifth time. You know, the their favorite episode of Scandal or Real House Lies for, uh, for the 10th time. And they'll be so lonely. Uh, they'll get on these dating apps and they'll, they'll find a guy and do him on the first night. Believe me, I know. I've been that guy many times. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, seven, the idea of marrying up is gone. When women were denied the right to be educated and to have careers, the concept of marrying up in order to improve their lot as bollock rights was just what women did. It was keeping in line with what was socially acceptable without rocking the boat. But if you're more educated, more successful, and the pool of men to choose from is on par with a wasteland of deteriorated, deteriorated good-for-nothings, why bother? Man, who hurt this woman? What's this girl's name? Amanda Chattel? Who hurt you, Amanda Chattel? God, yikes. Look at this. The pool of men choose from uh, to choose from is on par with a wasteland of deteriorated good for nothings. <laughs> God, you know why bother with that attitude? And here's the thing: if a woman is approaching the world like this, we can tell now. And and guys, we're not breaking down any walls. We're not we're not proving to some independent strong woman that that she needs to have a relationship. We're not doing that anymore, guys. We're just not. It's not your responsibility. Women have given rise and women have, have risen and continue to rise. Another amazing point that Bollock makes is that while women were fighting and we still are, make no mistake, for equality and the right to have a career and live their lives on their own terms, men are falling behind. Men, especially white men, <laughs> he got in this article, had nothing to fight for. And because of this, they fell behind and were surpassed by women in many ways. This trend is likely to continue making marriage even less likely in the decades that follow. <sighs> what are women rising to? Men still make more money. Always will. W women, are, uh, women are rising in single motherhood. They're rising in debt. They're rising in evictions. They're rising in like everything. They're, they're rising in violent crime st st statistics and freaking incarceration. That's how women are rising, guys. And men, we are choosing not to be a part of it. Nine, marriage isn't necessary for women to, to be mothers. Ooh, this is the big one. First of all, 40% of babies are born to, do, to single moms. Guys, it, it, it has to be higher than that. It has to be. And there's a very good chance that the percentage will rise as the stigma of being a single mother becomes less and less. There's also the, the fact that thanks to technology, you don't even need a man if you want to have a baby, all you need is a trip to to, to the sperm bank. That's a great option for women who don't want the, the relationship part of motherhood. Guys, I've covered this on my channel before. Less than 1% of births in the United States come from insemination, guys. And not only that, if you're black, there's a shortage of black male sperm out there. Because, And then we've all seen the stories about how uh, a sperm donor has been put on child support. Guys, single motherhood is the single greatest c c contributor to, to the downfall of American society. I'll say it right now. And the worst women in society are those single mothers by choice who choose to get inseminated or choose to sleep with some loser who is lo loose with his seed and choose to do motherhood alone. Those are the worst women on the planet. Avoid them at all. Avoid single mothers, but those are the worst single mothers. You're seeing more and more of that. Not only that, but, but these women go into single motherhood by themselves and, and complain about it. There needs to be more services for single mothers. What about single moms? Single mothers are the, are the, most are the largest group of impoverished women in this country. And women just sign up for that. And not only that, they become single mothers and put the burden on raising the child to all their family members. Guys, avoid these women at all costs. Ten, men have lost what little value they had. As Bullock writes, when there's an imbalance in the gender ratio, the gender with a smaller amount automatically has a higher value, which makes that gender want to work even harder to make themselves a hot commodity. But in the U.S., where that ratio is 58%, no, 50.8% female and 49.2% males, that healthy balance in the population only exacerbates a man's disinterest in making himself better. Therefore, women not impressed with what's out there 
continue to excel on their own, um, t- turning even further from the idea of marriage. Men, we did what we did. We worked the hard jobs, fought in wars for, for God, country, community, family. But with these women, you're not going to have a family. Society has told you that, uh, that you're awful. That's why men are, quote unquote, lagging behind. That we don't, we don't feel that duty to, 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 to achieve anymore. Why? And until I see women in the sewers, on the roof, laying concrete, Men will always have an have a have an advantage. Always. And, and then also, guys, look uh, on social media. There are these women who are who are are bisexual. Well, they'll sleep with women, but they'll only marry and have a family with a man. Why is that? Who has more value? When you look at that scenario, exactly. Eleven. Women have essentially become the men they wanted to marry. Well, yes, of course. As Gloria Steinem so actually put it, we are becoming the men we wanted to marry, and she's right. We are no longer the fair gender, but but a badass gender that's that's a perfect self-sustaining entity that can take care of itself on every level. There's no need to marry when everything you need, you, you can give yourself and on a silver platter to boot. God, who, who hurt this woman? I'm going to say it again. Oof. Yikes. Oh, <laughs> let's look at this girl real quick. Amanda Chattel is a sexual health, mental health, and wellness journalist with more than a decade of experience. She works for all of these things. Listen to this. Amanda has a bachelor's degree in English and a master's degree in creative writing. <laughs> of course she does. Oh, man. Uh, in 2019, she wrote, no, the league included Amanda in their 15 inspirational feminists. Every single person should should follow on Twitter. <laughs> Guys, if this is how women w- w- want to navigate, let them. Don't stop them, guys. You know, th- this is the first time in history where you can think about what you want to do. And if you find something, if you find a passion, if you become su- successful, women will recognize that and they will come to you guys. Put your heads down, get a trade, get your education in something that that matters, you know, achieve. And hey, you know, you you know, average guys, you know, you you can be a bachelor now. Travel abroad, but live your life, guys, and let these women navigate life like this until they hit the wall when they're 35 or or 40. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're going to say, you know. It's going to switch from us being badass to where have all the men gone? I'm lonely, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be here to cover all those stories, too. I appreciate you guys watching. This is kind of a long one. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.